Well, the Niagara County District Attorney is making a push now to Niagara Falls residents and businesses to join a program to help fight crime. And it all involves what you see right here behind me, security cameras. General 2's Jeff Praval shows us how. Operation Safe Cam calls on residents and businesses to register their home or work security cameras so that if a crime happens in their neighborhood, police can contact you to try to get critical video evidence. So that we can decrease the amount of legwork that has to be done when and if a crime occurs. We have businesses signed up. We have their name and numbers for immediate contact. Here's how people can sign up. Go to the Niagara County District Attorney's website well, you'll enter your name, address, and information about your cameras. That's it, and it's free. It's personal and confidential. The only people who have access to the information that they have a camera is the police department. The DA's office made a push last fall in North Tonawanda and got 28 people to register with Operation Safe Cam. Later this summer, another push is planned for downtown Lockport. This is Operation Safe Cam. Today, the DA's office and Niagara Falls Police canvassed Pine Ave. And this is where we have to make sure that we hold back crime in this community so that people come and visit this area and feel safe. And some businesses signed up on the spot, such as Michael's Restaurant. It's one of those no-brainers uh, to do, and it's very easy for the police. Um, it it's actually it gives you uh, a, a sense of comfort as well. I would love to blanket, you know, Niagara Falls with cameras so that we can stop crime. Now, I just tweeted out a link. You can find that at Preval WGRZ that has registration information for residents and businesses to look at to see if they want to sign up with Operation Safe Cam. DA Wotasek says later this summer, she plans on coming to the downtown area here in Niagara Falls to try to get businesses and residents signed up with Operation Safe Cam. Reporting in Niagara Falls, I'm Jeff Preval, Channel 2 News.